A cloud hopper. I know something about that a little bit due to all the travel that I do. This is a uh, this is a brand that comes from Kyle Gellis and his brother Devin. Kyle is the owner and founder of Warped Cigars. And this is what we're going to start with this morning. Stick around. Vic with High Desert Man and uh, it's a it's a beautiful Sunday and I am absolutely wasted. I feel like I could go back to bed and sleep the rest of the day, but um, I want to have a nice cigar. And this one is from my friend Rob V over at Fox Cigars. He gave it to me a little while back and uh, I decided I would uh, review it for him and for everyone out there. And it's a pretty interesting brand. So what uh, the thing that jumps out to me right off the bat with this cigar is okay the 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 brand is called edition one and this uh line is called the cloud hopper and um uh, i don't know if it's an extension or if this is just something separate that kyle and his brother decided to do but i'm i'm familiar with warped cigars i've smoked a number of theirs and the thing i liked about warped cigars is they're always very budget friendly they're very uh the sticks are priced really well <clears throat> and this one is uh, is no different. But before I get into that, uh, I want to thank some new subscribers that I have. Miss Shaolin777. I'm assuming that's a, a miss. That's uh, very cool if that's the case. Um, Gerzegers. G-R-Z-E-G-O-R-Z. -E -G Gerzegers. Something like that. Gregory Stokes. P. Parham. Mike B, Mr. Hand H. Wood, Hand, Hand H. Wood, it's all one word, and Raps Coils, Raps Coils, that's kind of a cool, that's kind of a cool uh, name. Um, so everyone, thank you, thank you very much for joining my channel, and I hope you dig it. I love hearing from all my, uh, all my peeps. All right, let's get this thing cut, and we're going to talk about this cigar a little bit. All right, so the brand, like I said, is Edition One, um, which, um, well, Edition One and, and the Cloud Hopper is the only thing they have right now. They were introduced at the IPCPR show 2017, and um, they they were just kind of part of the Warped Cigars booth. The name comes from a term that the brothers used uh, to describe stories. They they both travel a lot, and so it was used to describe their travels uh, to each other. Cloud Hopper. It the cigars feature tobaccos exclusively from Aganorsa, the Aganorsa Farms. This size is called the uh, the number 58. The other one I can't remember what the other one was called. Number 58. It's a five by 48. Factory is Tobacco's Valle de Jalapa, S.A. Wrapper binder filler. They're all Nicaragua. That's all they tell us. Vitola, number 58, 5x48. And MSRP on this stick, $6.50. That makes it, hopefully, a really, really good buy on a really good stick. We'll find out, huh? So last week, last weekend, Saturday, I went and cut wood. And I posted some pictures, I think on Facebook and Instagram. Ran into two rattlesnakes, Western Diamondbacks. And uh, the first one was a, a pretty sizable snake. And I, uh, I, got, I was within four feet of him. I was within striking distance when, uh, when I spotted him. Kind of freaked me out. And then, um, and then on the drive home, I... Uh, the road that I live on, there's this sharp curve that we take uh, that's a little bit before my house. And I see, I typically every year see Arizona black rattlers there. And Arizona blacks are mean as heck. And I always see them around that corner because there's a lot of brush and debris that they can hide in and stuff. Uh, but <clears throat> I saw a smaller western diamondback and it was pissed the second I opened the door on my truck, I could hear it rattling and everything, and it coiled up and ready to strike right away. So that was last weekend. Yesterday I got up and came out to the lab to work on new High Desert Man beard product at 
Hey, I was out here at 6.30 working on product. I've got uh, two new products that I'm uh, getting ready to wrap up and, and release before too long. I'm very excited about them. Then I went over to my neighbor's and uh, she's, got, she's got a bunch of black walnut trees on her property uh, that have branches, uh, well when I say branches they're practically tree sized branches uh, hanging over her shed where she parks her tractor and stuff and she's worried about these coming down and I've been trying to figure out a way to, to cut this stuff down and take care of it for her. And I decided I would tackle the easiest one first. The easiest one was a branch coming off of a, a big black walnut, very, very old black walnut. The branch is, at the base was about two feet in diameter, about 20 feet long and probably about a thousand pounds. And so I climbed about I 12 feet up in this tree leaning against the tree and standing on this branch and cutting it with my chainsaw, I got stung. And it was, at first it just felt like a pinch, but then that burn set in and I was like, oh crap, I've gotten into a, a nest or something. And sure enough, a wasp nest. I, I uh, at the, uh, up the branch of ways there was a wasp nest, but the vibration, wasps will deal with noise no problem. They don't like um, vibration so much and I was vibrating that uh, thing and before I knew it I was swarmed by I only got stung twice I got stung once on the hand here and I got stung right here and they both itch like crazy so I let them settle down and then uh, uh, and then I was like I, I was a I was all, nearly through the branch I don't know how this branch was holding on to the tree still but I was thinking okay I can cut this pretty fast. Black walnut is hard to cut because it's a really hard wood, but this this is pretty old aged um, black walnut and I had a brand new chain on my saw. So I thought, I'm just gonna get in there, do it real quick. That thing's gonna come down and those bees, or those wasps are gonna go nuts. They're not bees, by the way. And, um, and I'll just kinda, well, they did go nuts. That, that branch came down with a crash and it just disintegrated and blew up in pieces and everything and the nest became exposed and the wasps went crazy and they swarmed um, but oddly enough they didn't attack and after a few minutes they settled down and everything and completely settled down I mean they disappeared there were like two or three wasps were all I could see but then I went up and like probably about eight or ten feet from where the nest is I went up and I kind of knocked on the wood to hear the quality of the wood to see if it was stuff that um, was burnable that I could burn in the fire or uh, if it was too punky or whatever and those two knocks set those bees off again and they just went or those wasps and they went crazy but I only got stung twice so I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about it Six fifty for this cigar? Wow. I'm thinking that's that's a good price. Hmm. I, I don't know what flavors I'm tasting. There's there's a tartness in there, a, a very mild tartness that is kind of interwoven with with some wood notes and oh, it is really really good. I don't know. This is this is pretty awesome. The draw seems perfect. Um, the size I really really like the size and a great. I can't think of a better way to start this Sunday morning off. I've got my uh, iced beverage. Oh, that is good. For $6.50, I'm really blown away. That is really, really good. All right, guys, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, I, I watched Hand Rolled yesterday, and I would, I would highly recommend that uh, anyone who's interested watch Hand Rolled. It came out like two weeks ago, and I had to wait. It came out on iTunes first, and I had to wait for two weeks for it to be available on Google Play so that I could, so that I could watch it. But um, 
a, a really cool documentary. I'm not going to go into it because I'm thinking about doing a little bit of a, a, a video on it or something. I don't know. But nonetheless, a very cool documentary that Pete Johnson put together and, and uh, just some neat history there and stuff. All right, guys, I'm going to bounce out of here and smoke this cigar for a while, do some stuff. We'll catch up with you in a bit. What a good cigar, guys. For $6.50, my gosh, this cigar is worth it all day long and twice on Sunday. First off, the construction was impeccable. Burn was excellent. Draw was excellent. Everything about the construction on the cigar is just top-notch. And, um, man, I've got to find some... I've got to buy a couple five packs at least of this cigar. It's really, really good. Rob, thank you so much for giving me this cigar. The, uh, the band has such tiny writing, and when you take off the band, there's writing on the back. Edition 1 Inc., um, Palm Beach, Florida, Esteli, Nicaragua, and then the website, edition1cigars.com. But, just, uh, wow, I'm, I'm so happy I had this cigar. All right, toffee notes. Toffee notes in this cigar, very mild. They last pretty much through the stick, although as you get to the, toward the end of the cigar, they uh, fade quite a bit. A little bit of woodiness, some cedar in there, white pepper. Um, it's got a pretty long finish, which I was surprised. This is a... a this is a medium, medium light cigar. Uh, uh, might fall right into medium. Nicaraguan Puro. Very slight tangy notes at first, like I said. Blended well with the wood and the white pepper. Um, and then a little bit to, uh, later on, a little bit of citrus zest. And I, I can't necessarily say orange or lime or anything like that. Just some citrus zest that was pretty nice. Probably those tangy notes I was picking up. It pairs very well with my Maramas uh, iced coffee that I made. And just an excellent stick. Nub worthy for sure. I'm gonna smoke this baby down. Very smooth through the retro hail. Mm, good stick. So guys, I highly recommend this cigar. It is a fantastic stick. It's 650, you cannot go wrong. I think, I think it's a cigar that that a lot of people will enjoy because it's not too strong, but there's a lot of flavor. There's a nice long finish. The flavors, and it really represents Aganorsa leaf well. I I don't know why, but it's and maybe I was biased a little bit because I read that it was uh, exclusively Aganorsa tobacco, but. All I know is when I lit it up and threw the whole stick, it reminds me of that Aganorsa, uh, Aganorsa Leaf Special Selection that I, I did a review on some time back. And uh, it, it just represents their tobacco very well. Super, super good stick. Guys, until the next one, stay rugged.